Hello everyone, my name is Betty Dubois and welcome to Butterfly Whispers Pick a Card Reading. If you like the reading, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. I hope that you enjoy today's reading. Hi again everyone and welcome to a quick yes or no. Try and have a little bit of fun with it. I will be doing three tarot cards as per usual. Black cards are no, red cards are yes, but not always. If you've watched me before, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, then we'll have a Lenormand message um, here, and then I'll put three of my trusted poker deck, which is already pre-shuffled, shuffled, ready to go. If you're new here, could you please subscribe to the channel? It does not cost anything. Please like the video. If you do like it, please share the video. And also, if you want to put comments down there, like you chose a particular answer, uh, a particular section of cards and you got the answer that you were seeking or it made sense or if you watched the video and then a week later something happened please come back to the video and make a comment and say when I got the answer then it all unfolded and because I always like hearing from everybody um, so here we go we got pile number one two three four five six make your selection pause the video if you need to and let's get straight to it Okay, for those of you who chose pile number one, here we go. I will give a little explanation on the cards, but we're first up, we're just looking for a yes and a no. We have a no, a no, and a definite no. Okay, so there's no, no going around this one. This looks like rest and relaxation, trying to mend the damage from a broken heart. We have the walking away from a situation, and we have the nine of swords, which is having nightmares and stress. So this is a definite black no. Uh, what have we got as the message? <laughs> we have a happy card, but it does have an ace of clubs, which is a black no, even though aces, when I've said in previous messages, um, previous videos, that aces, if they're upright, are a yes. Um, we're taking these cards here. So this is no so far. This is something to do with a commitment. It doesn't have to be a marriage. It could be a business. It could be a journey. It could be study. Uh, it could be a health plan. Whatever it is, there's some sort of commitment here and it's really stressing somebody out. Um, four, five, and nine of swords. Ooh, it's a pretty uh, black no that we got on the table. Now I've already pre-shuffled these, so what else are we getting? Now we've got a five, red five. A black two goes over here and another five. Okay, so we have three fives on the table. So there is something to do with five. If you were wanting a yes, it's telling you not right now. I feel for some of you, there is a marriage here, a relationship. There is feeling of lack of commitment. There is something to do with a pregnancy that is either it happened when you weren't ready or it's a pregnancy that you're waiting on and it just doesn't seem to be happening. It's telling me there's a delay of five. So if you were trying to get pregnant or something like that, it might take five more months. It might even be five more years or it might be the fifth of a month. Um, but this is showing me a baby boy in the middle of all of this. So eventually, if you were asking something to do with pregnancy and fertility, eventually, yes, there is, but this is a definite no for now. It looks like you've really, really been stressed about whatever this is. If you're asking about a commitment to a job or some sort of job that you're in, because the fives can represent work outside of the home, something outside of the home, um, this would tell me that it's all stressing you out. This over here would be a commitment, like what commitment do you want to put in? Do you want to keep going or do you want to do something different. So the commitment card is there. Um, that can be simple as a um, inheritance or something as well that you're waiting on, like something's happened and you're still waiting on something to come through. But we're gonna take a no on pile number, pile number one. There is something to do with making up with somebody. So someone from your past might be coming back in and there might be discussions going on. I'm not seeing you going on a love journey with this person. I'm just seeing like talks going on and mending the bridges at this point. So it's a no for pile number one. Okay, pile number two, let's go straight to it. Yes or no? We have a yes. We have another yes. And we have another yes. Wow. Okay, this is building something. This is where you're starting a new journey. You might be starting a home job. You might be starting a new business. You might be getting a new job. 
And it might also be about new people that you're around, new friendships. Uh, we have the four, which is holding on very tightly to your journey. We have the five of pentacles, which can mean about feeling like you're left out in the cold, or it might be feeling like I've just got no money, I don't know what I'm going to do. But it, see how it, it builds in the opposite way. Normally I read cards where the three goes to the four, goes to the five, but these are actually going in the right way to be a nice positive yes. This is where you haven't got the money, you're working out your structure and you're holding on to something tightly and then you start a new beginning. So this is a definite beautiful yes here. I feel this is all to do with business. Your message on pile number two is you have the key to your own heart in your own success and it's another diamond. It's eight of diamonds. So we've got pentacles, which is diamonds, the same thing. So we've got all this money and abundance and everything in pile number two. So I think people pile number two were asking something about a job, a house, um, some sort of business thing or something about working on the money and creativity. Now there is a slight hint of something to do with pregnancy here. We have three and then we have double threes over here on this card here. Um, it's got the double threes there. So um, three might have something to do with it. It might take a period of three, a period of three, a period of three, which is nine months. So, um, and that's why I'm thinking pregnancy as well, because we've got baby boy and baby girl on the table. So if you already have a boy, you're having a girl. If you're already having a girl, had a girl, you're going to have a boy. That's, that's how I see it like that. Even though those cards in general terms with tarot have nothing to do with pregnancy. But for me, that's how I read them. Okay, so now we have another three. So three is definitely prominent here with whatever this is. We have another three and we have a two. Okay, so we have all yeses apart from this one card. Now this one card can mean a delay of three. But yeah, three is very prominent. I think it might be, if you're asking about a business or a plan, it might be about new friendships and it might be about reaching out and joining up with, joining forces with somebody else. So let's say that you have a candle making business and then you go to a show or you go online to sell your wares and somebody has a essential oil business and the two of you decide to work together. Um, and then somebody else sells uh, massage therapy or something like that. And then the three of you join together. I just feel like there's some sort of joining together going on. Uh, don't be too stubborn holding on to something from the past here because it could uh, block you from moving forward. But you've definitely got a journey here. Um, there's somebody that's committed to you as well. So I feel like some of you might be in a marriage um, and or you're in a partnership and they're helping you along the way as well. And any imbalance that you've had where you've sort of been wishy-washy, it's telling me it's all going to balance out and everything's going to be all right and rosy again. So that's a beautiful yes. I'm, I'm feeling a really beautiful energy on pile number two. Okay, pile number three. Let's get straight to it and see what your answer is. We have a two of cups, the joining of two people. That can be a marriage, that can be soulmates, that can be... A beautiful union between two people that's a beautiful yes then we have the broken heart okay so we have a no opposite cards guys uh, broken heart disillusionment uh, betrayal of your trust with commitment love and a long-term journey and then we have the four of cups which is a red yes it is over here but that can be where you're getting bored with a situation as well but we've got two yeses so far so the answer is yes so far i feel that pile number two is all about money and finance and work i feel pile number three is more to do with a relationship um we got the anchor that can be something to do with being stubborn and we have the nine of spades at the bottom of that, something that needs to come to an end. Probably this. Now I have, I do believe that the three of swords, even if you're going through the most horrible heartbreak or something like that, it's not gonna last forever, this feeling. And you, you've got it sort of trumping, this card trumping that, where you've got this trust and loyalty and love and long-term commitment with this betrayal and, and fear. And then you've got this, this like I'm bored with this. So um, yeah, but looking at them with red and black, we've got two reds and one black. So let's see what else we get. 
We've got another red, another yes. We've got a black no. And we've got a red yes. Okay, so answer to question number three is yes. Now, this is like changes in your love life, changing the people who you hang around. I feel like this is all commitment. We've got another commitment card here. We've got commitment, trust, and love. Then we have this betrayal, and then we have forced changes going on. So you may have been asking about something to do with a relationship, maybe a new relationship or something. It's almost like you're wanting a new relationship or you're wanting a relationship to be better, which is a yes. Um, but if you're asking about somebody else being in the picture or something like that, this is like... It would be betrayal or something. I'm just picking up this weird sort of message here. Now, July or seven means something. So it might be something happening in July to do with the relationship. Um, it may have already happened last July, this bad part. And now by this July, it's all cemented and beautiful again. Um, but yeah, I hope that helps, guys. Like that message I'm getting there. Just don't be too stubborn or... This can be where you might need to cut the anchor. You might be holding on to something way too tightly and it's time to just let it go. If there's been some sort of betrayal and hurt in the past, you can have all of this if you really, really want this. This is love and trust and happiness. Um, I just feel like you or somebody else is getting a little bit, little bit bored with things and wanting something better in their life. Um, but yeah, that's a, it's a yes, but there is a delay. But it is a yes, and we do have commitment, love, and we have something to do with a period of seven where you need to wait. Okay, pile number five, yes or no. Hope you get the answer that you need. We have a victory card. Okay, this is a black card, so it's a no, but it's actually the victory card. So it's a very positive yes at the same time. So we're just going to sit that one on the fence. We have a yes. We have a three of wands making a decision. So we got a no, a yes. Let's see what this one, this one will maybe trump that one. Okay, we have the lover boy here. We have the soulmate connection. We have two aces, ace of hearts, ace of cups, same card. So this card's a yes. So we've got two yeses and two no's. Um, well, this is sort of yes. I'm feeling like this is yes. So, so far I'm feeling like this is yes, but there is a delay. And we have a no, we have a definite no, and we have a definite yes. <laughs> okay, number five doesn't want to play nice. You may have been asking, will she or he commit to me and will move forward in happiness and love? Eventually, yes, and you will be victorious, but there is some things that have to play themselves out. Um, there's decisions being made. There's a little bit of irresponsibility going on, and this can be stress, it can be arguments, it can be something that needs to come to an end. Um, but over here, this guy here, he's very um, passionate and loving, and he's very attractive, and he likes all of that. Now, that can be a male or a female. I know the card's showing a man with his chest out, but uh, let's just go the energy of there. That, that's all about being all... Um, all in your face, you know, like this is a beautiful sort of person, but they can be a little bit self-centered. We have this declaration of love, this ace of cups. This is declaration of love as well. We've got ace of hearts. We've got commitment card here and we got victory. So I'm going to take pile number five as a yes, but there's definite delays here. And it'll be a period of six because we've got two sixes on the table. These are the same cards, by the way, six of wands and six of clubs, the same cards, but totally different meanings. This is victory after a, a battle. And this card here is more about being irresponsible, either with words or paperwork or something like that. Um, so we got three no's and we got th sort of three reds and then, yeah. Um, I'm going to take it as a yes, but not just now. For now, it's a no till a period of six. So it might be June this year. It might be six weeks away. It might be six months away. It might be the sixth of next month. Um... Take it how you will, but I'm saying it's a yes, but right now it's a delay. So whatever it is you're wanting, if you're wanting this beautiful relationship with this person, you want to commit to each other and be victorious and sail off into the sunset, it will happen, but not just yet. Uh, there may be something to do with the third party as well, because we've got this three sitting here. It may be that somebody else is in the wings and um, they're going to be out of there. 
So yeah, it's a yes and a no for pile number five, unfortunately, but I'm going to take it as a yes, but not just yet. I'm sorry, guys, I think I was saying pile number five on that last pile. That was pile number four. This is pile number five now. Um, so here we go. Yes or no on pile number five. That is a, ooh, that's all about marriage and commitment. That's normally a yes. That's a very positive, happy card. But we're going by the black and red at the moment. So that's a black card. We'll take that as a no for now. We got another no. And we got a ye yes. Okay, we got three of cups. So I'm going to put that one on the fence. We've got a yes and a no. Uh, we've got the heavy burden to bear. There's a lot of things that you've got to go through. And I see this here where you're escaping to the other side. This is re reconciliation. It's um, you know making up for past regrets. And it's, it's going on a new journey. It can be fertility and marriage. That's here in question number five, which has got nothing to do with yes and no. But we've got yes sort of no <laughs> so we need we need some answers so we have a no another no okay it's a no and then we have a big time yes over here okay so this is a big mix match here this would be a no because of these three cards here and this is a black card so that would accentuate no and that does have the six of clubs on there which is a black card so we've got a lot of black no over here there is double six on the table, so it could be a period of six. But we do have this happiness, joy and contentment over here and this marriage card. So for some of you, you may have been asking about a relationship. Will it get back on track? Um, will we have a baby and that? This is the baby in the future. This is fertility and making up with each other and moving forward. This is the stability in the marriage. So it is there, but for now it's just saying there's a bit of stress. And actually, this is not very very bad because these cards are quite low this can be where you're stressing in your own head it could be there's a third party influence that's negatively influencing the situation and this is a need to escape a situation and there's a lot of heavy burdens to bear here so we're going to take poll number five as a no for now but it, it in the future it could turn around and this is a very positive type thing i just feel like it's a timing thing going on here um, where it's not the right time or something like that. So we get a no on pile number five. Okay, here we go with the last pile of the day, pile number six. Good luck, guys, to whatever your question was. I hope you've been having fun with this today. The cards haven't been playing too nicely. They've been sort of a little bit wishy-washy and not straightforward. So let's hope for we, we get a straightforward answer, sorry. Uh, here we go. Pile number six. Yes or no? That's a yes. That's a commitment card. That's a beautiful energy card. That's the eight of cups. Now that can be about walking away and it can be about walking away from hard times, walking away from a situation. It doesn't have to be walking away from a person, but it is a red card. So we're going to say that is two yeses on the table. And we have the two of wands, which is a positive making a decision, but it's going to go on the black pile, which is no. The message about all of this is, okay, this is the castle. So I'm just going to grab the book on that one. It does have a six of spades on there, which goes on the no pile. Um, number 19. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the castle. Oh no, this is the tower, sorry. I'm just using a different deck at the moment in the picture. I thought it was the castle. Um, yeah, this is all about wait and see. That's sort of like where you're watching. It's not like the tower where everything's a catastrophe. This is where you, you're sitting up in the tower and you're observing what's going on down below. So that's sort of a wait and see. But we do have a yes so far. Something to do with a commitment here because we've got commitment cards on the table. Definite yes. A no and another no. Okay, we've got three of each. So what am I going to do? Um, we'll get another one of these, I suppose. Okay, another no is there on the table. Okay, because it came out a yes and no, and we do have this wait and see type thing, I think whatever your question was may have been for something down the track and you just don't have all the answers as yet. It looks like whatever it is 
contains love and affection and commitment and sort of like cashing in. This is like cashing in over here. Whereas over here, there's someone making a decision of which way they want to go and they finally made a decision. And then there's some sort of um, anger or arguments or someone has been irresponsible. Someone said the wrong thing here and it's caused a bit of disharmony at home. So these four are all like no and then this is yes and this is wait and see. So I'd have to say it's more of a no but it was looking like it was a yes to start with. So if we remove that, I'd have to say because this is a nine and this is an ace, it kind of trumps these cards here. And this is a positive card. This is where someone's made a decision, they've made their choice and they're moving forward. So this would actually be a positive card and then we'd have two negatives. So we've got a yes and a no. Sorry guys, it's a yes and a no. I can't really make a decision on this. How about we get one of my message cards for this one? Okay, that one was flopping out. So they want you and they love you. So if it was about a relationship, I, I told you it was. Uh, there was a feeling that there was something to do with love, big love and commitment here on the table. And taking time out. So you might need to step away from a situation for a little bit. Um, but the person wants you and they love you. So there we go. have it. That is pile number six, which I'm going to say... I don't know. You put it in the comments what you think. I, I'm feeling like it's more of a yes simply because that's positive, although a lot of people would be going, hang on a sec, that eight of cups, that's a negative card. That's walking away from something, but I think it's letting go of something that's been doesn't serve you anymore. But it is a red card and eight of hearts is actually a celebration of people coming together. This is all celebrating and coming in together and commitment. And two of wands is actually a relationship on the rocks when I look at it in two of clubs. So it's something that's trying to be mended and make a decision here. So yeah, I'm going to say yes. I'm going to, I'm going to stick to yes here, but uh, it'll be up to you with whatever this is. I feel like this will be up to you. It's something that you might be wanting, but then again, you're not wanting it. So it's yes and no. You know the answer with inside yourself because I, I just feel like this is up to you, this one, number six. If you feel that it's a definite no and that's what you were wanting, well, I'd go float with that. If you were definitely wanting a yes here, I'd float with the yes. So that's what we have today. Sorry, that's kind of confusing, pile number six. Um, did we have doubles? Uh, no. No, we've got all different digits. We did have two sixes, and they are both the six of spades because this does have a six on here. And this has got a nine on here as well. So we got, it might be something to do with September or June or sixth of the month, nine of month. Or it might be six months away, six weeks away, nine months away, nine, nine weeks away. So I hope that's helped. Hope I haven't confused too many people and I will catch you on the next round. <music>